Welcome back to Local 10. It is 6.43. We have been in coverage since 4 a.m. You are looking at live pictures straight from Surfside. We do know 8777 Collins Avenue, the Champlain Tower South, has suffered a partial building collapse. We know one person has died. We know many others have been rescued from balconies and from the rubble. Here are your live pictures of that building and the destruction going all the way to the ground. This is the view looking out towards the ocean. There's your view of Collins Avenue. It looks like somebody has been put. Is, is somebody on a stretcher there? It's, it's hard to see. Yeah, can't we're, particularly we're zooming tell. in, but it's a little bit blurry. But we do know there is a triage station set up there mm -hmm. uh, to help with the people who have been rescued from that building. We've been hearing that this all happened after midnight. Um, we're hearing reports between 1 and 2 a.m. Sounds like thunder. Sounds uh, felt like an earthquake. Um, and really, truly what happened was this building started to collapse. We do know from multiple uh, witnesses on the scene, there was construction, renovations, roof work being done on that building. Maybe Maybe that attributed to this partial building collapse. We just don't know. More than 100 units are on the scene from both Miami-Dade and Broward helping. We've also seen dogs on the scene. Mm -hmm. This is a search and rescue effort, and we are bringing you every aspect of it right now. And as you take a live look at crews right now, obviously this is a very active scene. Crews trying to keep people as far away as possible because there is concern about structural integrity with the building, not to mention falling debris. So trying to keep people safe, and with that we want to get to Annalise Garcia right now, who is live at the scene as close as she can get to it right now. Yeah, Annalise, have you learned anything new since we spoke to you last? Geo, JC, we are speaking to a lot of people passing by here and we're working to find out more. What they are telling us is that certain floors are starting to get cleared and that's what they're hearing from firefighters on the scene. Let me show you where we're standing. We are on Harding right now, which is parallel to Collins, which is where that building is um, on 88th and Collins. Now this is the front side of the building where the damage happened is the back side of the building. You were just seeing some live pictures of what that looks like. Uh, just shattered uh, part of this building. We know that uh, part of the pool was, uh, the pool of this building was part of this. The parking garage was a part of this. Um, and we saw earlier people actually getting saved from or pulled and rescued out of their apartments from those balcony doors. So if you come back out live, you can see those balcony doors just come open and that's where people were coming out of. We even saw firefighters using some type of chainsaw to break those railings that you see there to get these people out. Now, this is the Champlain Towers uh, and we were speaking to people this morning, all throughout the morning that tell us that they have either, they know someone in there or somebody who, who came out. We were able to speak to actually somebody who was in the building. She lives on the ninth floor. She was asleep when this happened. She said it felt like a bomb went off. Take a listen to what she said. The whole building shook like an earthquake. And what did you think when you heard that? I opened my sliding glass and I saw a plume of dust. And then I opened the door and I saw that the building had pancakes in the back. Have you been in touch with your neighbors? Anybody? There's some people that are alive, but that there's two lines that everybody's gone. And you were uh, hopefully, they, they're, they're, they're some people, uh, they've been able to rescue some people because I heard some screams. Now back out live, you're looking at the front side of this building yeah. where this collapse happened. Um, the collapse happened on the back side, so the side facing the beach. Now people are starting to wake up, walk around, you know, wonder what happened to their neighbors, people who live in this area. Now this uh, is blocked off completely. This scene block is spans out blocks and blocks where there are units and fire departments from Pompano, Fort Lauderdale, Coral Gables, all from all over assisting here in this devastating situation. So um, we're working to figure out more as to what caused this, um, but uh, for now, I'm live in Miami Beach, Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News. And Annalise, in terms of the active scene behind you, you've been there all morning long. We've seen rescues happening through those balconies, people getting rescued off of that, and then on the backside, a search and rescue effort going on right now. But in terms of what you're seeing on the ground right now, anything active with regards to rescues or perhaps uh, treatment of um, potential people that have been taken out of that building? Well, we've actually seen, I'll step out of the way, actually we can go this way over here if you can see, um, they've been passing by us with stretchers that they seem that they just used. So um, we also were at that triage area a little while ago where that stretcher you're seeing, there were 
at like 40 of them over, you know, just there they were prepared to help people as far as actually seeing these people getting um, help and assisted. We haven't seen anything like that yet, but like I said earlier, um, they are keeping us a pretty far distance from the, the center of this to keep us safe and everybody around us safe. Yeah, we, we keep asking and keep checking in with you because we are hearing possibly that that building is clear. And of course, we want to report that if that is the case, that, that would be great news. And then we get a little bit closer to understanding how many people have been rescued and if anybody else is missing. So right. we're just really trying to get the answers to those questions. Just a reminder right now, we have confirmed one death. But when this was sent out to us, it was reported as a possible mass casualty situation, which includes injuries as well. So we're just trying to get all those details. So we appreciate, Annalise, everything you're doing. We're going to let you go, continue to work the scene more, and hopefully get some more word and information from authorities. But right now, we take you to one of those rescues. We were just talking to Annalise about this. So powerful to watch fire rescue crews and you hear the alarms mm -hmm. going off in the background as this building has partially collapsed. And this is in the middle of the night, early morning hours. And then you see this man pick up that young boy, put him on a stretcher and just pulled straight from that rubble. So we know at least one person had to be removed from that rubble after the building partially collapsed right there behind that building. And the, this was a look from uh, Sky 10 our, a short time ago, we showed you Sky 10 images as well. This was from the back side of the building. Again, that's the side of the building that's facing toward the water. You see the level of destruction, the level of significance when it comes to just how much damage happened on this building. Rescues happening from the rubble, not to mention from the balconies on the other side. And then earlier we showed you Sky 10 images. These right here of dogs being brought onto the scene of the collapse because, of course, this is turning into a rescue situation, trying to get as many people as possible out from under this partial building collapse of what is a multi-story building. Yeah, that was really interesting to see exactly all the efforts that are underway. We've been bringing you live pictures and this story for almost three hours right now. And just a reminder, we are not going to stop doing that. We are not going to Good Morning America. We are going to keep it right here so that you know everything about what's happening in Surfside. If you have family members, if you have friends, if you have loved ones, we are getting all the details so that you know exactly what is happening in our neighborhood here in South Florida. We're going to take a quick break so that we can assess some of the information coming into the Local 10 newsroom and bring it straight to you. Just give us a couple of minutes. We'll be right back.